so welcome um we're just going to start now welcome back we're looking at uh, developing your wordpress plugin and also how you can utilize that for the last course we treated how you can do the back end registration but today let's just go through what we did the last time so we're having at the point where we enter the registration setup registration we move down to this point and then we enter this and we move also to this i think here's where we start now we just get to sort ourselves out so when you go straight to plugin this is what we decided go straight to plugin we created this is how we created the visual and also the uh, text aspects of it now what are we doing so we have enable and disable as part of our development okay so let's just get ourselves settled sorted and so um, after creating this what's next what are we supposed to do something so Sunday service select it did type something okay I uh, here again so then Then enable, make it active, and click create. You see, to just go over without even submitting. So there's even no way you can see what was submitted. So for us to do that, for us to get our form inserted, for us to get our form inserted, all we we'll do we we'll go up again because. At this form when you check what we have at this form you discover we have this we have active so we're checking on every point that if this is function for admin and then this is the form you just have the form alone so what we we'll do next after having the form which has um, the form method which is post so you can do either post or you can do get so if this post you know okay you're posting and if it is get uh, you're sending parameters via the url but here we're not sending parameters via the url we're just uh, we're just submitting the record which is the data we have we're just submitting it so for us to get that running all we need to do now is um, with our form let's just get this done so we can come in here you can do it any any part of your function you can do it anywhere but I just prefer most times that I get my stuff sorted that from the beginning so what I just do is to get it up and running so I'll just do the insert where it is looking for a post of get you can see so you just look at do we have um, if you look at the button here you can either use that so we have name is what new submit new submit so when it is new submit we'll do something when it is um up submit which is update submit we also do something different so we we'll just come over here and let's start here
Okay, I think we're good here. So this is the function that has the admin page and inside the admin page is what we are calling. We just need to specify what database we're sending our request to. If you if you see here, database we created, we have one for service setup and then we have for members registration service setup and members registration what's okay so we just get straight into it let's say we have our table name already what we'll do now is we just use an if statement you should be familiar with if statement I say if is set what is set we're trying to get the parameter of uh, post parameter that's why you can see it is post your post parameter and what is the name of the post what's what's the name that you want to get new submit so when you do new submit we can now open so now this new submit this is getting it because it is post here you can see it and in new submit it sees the submit button you can see this button is new submit if we change it to something else same we're going to do that so we'll change it to something else we're going to do that i just put the toggle so that you can have everything display on one page now we get once it is new summit let's watch let's just um echo okay and see what happens and see what happens at this point so let's put in something here put in something here and click create you can see the echo is displaying here that means on that new summit it gets to see the page here you can see you get to see this echo this uh okay on it so what why why is that coming up you have okay that means anything we do and click that new summit is going to call in this page it's going to call in that page so we'll just get what do we need to let's comment this what do we need we need uh, first we need the title we need the title and the title comes with the same post so you're trying to get posts of what's the name you need the name is title so all we're just doing is just declaring the variables of that uh, post submit so we just do multiple of it and we have a body we have auditorium auditorium we have conference and we have have conference we have banquet of service service day and we have that's the active if it is active or not so let's just make the variables the same as the name of the feed so you don't get confused what is coming up you don't get confused with the record so I just go straight also now you can see I'm updating the body I'm updating the body aspect of it um, okay so we have all this let's try something else again let's see let's echo now we need echo now let's echo the title so I see how we're getting this thing really so okay now let's do the summit you can see it's okay that's there 
type in something we'll say create you can see the title is what displaying we're having the title display properly here so what we'll do next is uh, we'll go back to our record let us um, do this so now what we want to do is to submit it to the database we have a database already you know we have a database already all we're doing is submitting it to the database you can give this a name so i just do so we'll call the um the general variable i'll say what do we need we need to query do a query and what will happen in that query we want to insert into what our table name Let's just So we have a table name. This is this is our table name. Let's use this. Let's declare it here. Let's say okay, table name two. So I say the insert into this into hold on. Okay. So into this table name, what do we want from that table name? We want to enter some of the records, and what we need is. Uh, Title, body, body tutorial, conference, banquet, service day, and active on. After that, what else do we need? If you're familiar with a little bit of uh, PHP. You know you do values, so you want to get the values of all that. So what's the values? The values will not be the corresponding records we are getting here. So first is is this. So first we will we'll get this, which is this title the next is body body then we have auditorium then we have What do we have next? We have here we're taking the conference. So we have banquet and we have service service day that's what we use service day here yeah. and we have to check if it is active or not so we want to know if it is active or not active on or not so we'll close this i will just Just say that's a cool. Once it is done, say submitted successfully, and that's it. When you say submitted successfully, it's going to submit. And let's try it. Let's try what we've done now. 
So we'll also go straight to our database. So we use Heidi SQL here. You can see service day, we have nothing in it. When you come to data, we have nothing in it. So what we just do here is uh, submit our first record. This, add anything, testing. And say let it be active, yes, and then click submit. So once that goes through, oh, we had an error. The error we have is uh, we didn't we called this variable here, but we didn't declare it as global. I'm supposed to declare it here as global. Global, and that's this. So it's not seeing it that's why it's telling you could not submit so let us go back and the service day this is testing this with Kinsley America active create so once you click create you see it submitted successfully so now let's go to our database and see if we have that in a database Since we have service day, let's refresh. Service setup, that's what we use, right? Service set up prefix service set up. Tattoo body. Let's see what the issue could be. We're supposed to have it in our database. Maybe this is not updating. ID. Let's see the structure of this service setup. ID is the NK. Okay. And um, active, active is either zero or one. Okay, I think some of them are non, non, non. Return. Default is now 150, data that is in the current and date, appropriated time. I just pause it. So, welcome back. Um, we did everything right, very well. All we just did was this uh, global variable we declared here. 
was supposed to be up not down because we're calling it here to get the prefix so what it what happened was the it was inserting to just service setup without um, getting the prefix if you look at our database here discover that the prefix is wp underscore that's the prefix so it was inserting without getting that so that, that it wasn't going but aside that we're cool we're good so what we'll do here let's just do another test getting this reserve and I can change this to change it you can change it you can say we are able to start developing this login so let's make it active and then click create so once you do that let's go back to our and then on data let's refresh you can see it is set up it's already on it it's our service data the tells that date created and if you can know that the date created we did was uh, a date time which is um, automatic so you just um, click it based on the date time available so thank you very much for your time next we're going to be displaying what uh, we have been able to insert and see you in the next course thank you